looking back, you know, at the beginning of your career managing sales teams, what advice would you give you know, 15 years ago, Paul, uh, about running sales organizations? Uh, well, that's a good question. I would think if you're def if you're starting out running a sales organization, the best thing you can do is hire the absolute best people you can find. Don't settle, know what you want, know what you're looking for, know those qualities and wait for them. And, and maybe you have to pay a little bit extra to get them, but it is very, it is way easier to start with an awesome base of, of a person that you can build on versus trying to build a salesperson that doesn't necessarily have the skills. Um, it'll make your life as a sales manager easier. It'll make you reach your numbers faster. Um, you know, I would, I would certainly, you know, say that. Um, you know, the other thing I think that a lot of times you see managers, especially early ones, is they, they focus just on the numbers and not on the person. And I think that if you focus on the person and you focus on what makes them tick and what makes them excited and what makes them feel um, appreciated, that you'll get more performance out of them because they feel like they want to do good, not only for them, but they want to do good for you. And that is, I think that's proven to be a big thing over time is um, I'll bend over backwards for any of my people. Um, whereas maybe at the beginning I was more focused on, I got to make the numbers. I got to, got to make sure that the C-suite or the, you know, the management is happy at the expense maybe of the relationship that I had with my salespeople. If you focus on the relationship you have with your salespeople, that's the number one thing and make your numbers as you can, but I'll understand what's driving the people that are, you're asking to make the numbers that then proves to, you'll, you'll just be more successful. You'll be more successful faster. Thank <laughs> you.